Assalam o Alaikum. Managing your finances effectively is crucial for achieving your financial goals, and an expense tracker is an essential tool in this process. In today's video, we'll be building together a professional monthly expense tracker, as you can see on my screen. We'll start by merging first two rows from cell B1 to cell E2. Type main header name as monthly expense tracker. Then we'll type other headers such as date, category, description, and an amount. Select column B. Set its width to 16.57. Similarly, we'll adjust other columns' width as well, as you can see on my screen. Now it's time to insert table. We'll select range of cells where we need to insert table. Press Ctrl T. Select my table has header and press OK. Now go to table styles and change it as per your preference. Go to main header. Change its color to similar one or as per your preference. Change main header font color to white. Increase size to 18 and make it bold italic. Change bold border and add white border instead. Go to border color, change it light gray and apply on below table. Now input your expenses, making sure to categorize each entry for better tracking. Format date cells as per your preference. I'm formatting currency to dollars just to show you an example data. You can change it according to your currency. Type here month and budget amount. Select these cells and change color as per your preference. Set column G width to 13.57 and column H to 12.14. Now it's time to summarize expenses. We'll select table and insert PBO table. Make sure to insert table to existing sheet and select location as shown in this video. Now drag category in row area and amount in values. As you can see, it has given us a summary of our total expenses with categories. Select amount values, align it in center, and format it as per your preferred currency. Rename headings as category and total amount. Select range of cells and insert borders. Now let's enhance it with charts to give it a more professional look. Select range of data, go to insert, recommended chart and select this pie chart. We'll drag it to right side and adjust it. Right click on chart, select this brush and choose your preferred style and color as well. Now click on plus icon, uncheck chart title and select data labels. Click on category section and maximize it. So here we are done with this chart and it looks amazing. 
This chart displays our monthly expenses by category making it easier to analyze spending patterns at a glance. Now we will create another chart which will show us an overall amount spent, monthly budget, saving and extra spent amount. In order to create that chart we need to get first budget amount, amount spent, saving and extra spent in separate table. So we'll scroll to right side of sheet, type budget, amount spent, saving slash balance amount and extra spent. To get the budget amount, type equal and select the cell H2 where we already having budget amount. Similarly, amount spent can be taken from PBR table. Now since we do not have saving amount and an extra amount anywhere in the table, hence we'll apply this formula to get these values. We'll type equal if bracket budget amount is greater than amount spent then do budget amount minus amount spent. If not then show as zero. And here we got the savings. Same formula will apply for extra spent. Equal if bracket amount spent is greater than budget amount then do amount spent minus budget amount. If not then show as zero. So now here we have all the amounts. We'll select these cells and insert a table here. Now by selecting this table go to insert recommended chart and select this bar chart resize it as shown in this video go to chart elements uncheck first element and select data labels resize this section to make it more visible rename chart title to overall summary and adjust font color size as you prefer So here your monthly expense tracker is ready and it looks amazing. Now let's add two more line items to see how it works with new expenses. So whenever you add new data or make any changes, you'll need to refresh the PVO table to reflect the changes on it. To do that right click on PVO table and click on refresh. As you can see the PVO table and charts have been updated upon refreshing the PVO data. I do hope this video was helpful if you like it please do consider subscribing our channel. See you in next video. Allah Hafiz.